If you spend any amount of time at all in the Crokinole community, you will very quickly realize that this game seems to attract nothing but really good people. And the experience that we got to have this morning that you are going to hear about is an absolutely fantastic example of exactly that. Now I say this morning, but the truth is this started a few weeks ago when I received a phone call from a past customer. Let's call him Gus. You remember back those old documentary style TV shows and they would say something along the lines of, the names have been changed to protect the innocent. Well in this case, the names have been changed to protect the awesome. So Gus called me up and said, Jeremy, I would like to remain completely anonymous through all of this, but I want to buy 12 boards from you to be gifted to families in need this Christmas season. So this morning, with the help of Reed and Nolan, we loaded those 12 boards into the Crokinole Mobile and went off to deliver them. Going in and having the experience of talking with the lady receiving these and getting to be the conduit or the go-between or the connector between Gus and this amazing cause was absolutely incredible. And she said to me, Jeremy, I know this gentleman would like to remain anonymous, but can you please pass on a huge thank you? This is so exciting. So there I was, I got to be the go-between, the connector between this amazing act of generosity and this genuine expression of gratitude and appreciation. It felt incredible and more importantly, it left me feeling super inspired and motivated to find my own way to give back. And that's what this video is about. Gus actually encouraged me to make this video. He said, Jeremy, maybe this video about this act of generosity will encourage other people to give back in their community. Now you may be thinking to yourself, come on now, Jeremy, I can't afford to give a coconut board. That's not at all what this is about. It's simply about finding ways to give back. So if I share with you some of Gus's thinking that led him to doing this and why he chose to do what he did, maybe it will help you find what's right for you. And the first thing that Gus has said to me so many times through our communication is it just feels good to give. So that's the first thing is do you like to feel good because it does feel so incredible to give back. The second thing to consider is what brings you joy. As Gus talked to me about what Crokinole means to him, I could tell it's something that brings him joy. He said, especially through this last couple of years, the ability to connect with friends and family around a simple board game just fills him up with joy. And it wasn't Crokinole boards that he wants to gift. He wanted to gift the joy that comes from experience, uh, experiencing a game with people that you care about. So then the next thing he said to me, he said, you know what, Jeremy, I'm choosing to give boards because I can afford it. I've had a great couple of years and I know some other people haven't. So I'm in a position to give. So my question to you is what can you afford to give? It doesn't have to be something huge. The smallest gift can spread so much joy into the world. So if you can find something in your life, something that brings you joy, that you'd like to feel good about giving to someone else, then you found that sweet spot. What is something that brings you joy that's within your comfort zone of what you can afford to give? <clears throat> it could be as simple as if it fills your heart to know that people have enough food to eat, then maybe you consider giving to your food bank. And let's go even smaller than that. I know people that absolutely love coffee. They say drinking a cup of coffee brings them joy. If that's you, maybe your next trip through the drive-thru, you foot the bill for the coffee of the person in the vehicle behind you. It could even be, it doesn't even need to be money. Is there a way you can give your time, the most precious resource in the world? And maybe you're someone out there who, you know, you love to travel. The thoughts of traveling and exploring and seeing the world gives you joy and you've got this huge budget of money you want something to do with. Then consider maybe gifting a cruise to Elaine and I. <laughs> I am joking, sort of, like a Caribbean or Alaskan cruise, whatever feels right for you. But seriously though, what is something that fills your heart with joy? What is something that you can afford that will feel good for you to give this Christmas season or any time of year? And when you find that perfect way to give that's right for you, that crosses over between something that brings you joy and something that's within your realm of what you can afford, go ahead and throw a comment down below. You filthy animal. Because just like our friend Gus was hoping to inspire other people to be generous and charitable and giving, you can do the same by sharing your ideas and maybe do exactly what I did. It doesn't have to be your personal post of your generosity. Maybe share a story of someone else's in hopes that that story will ripple out and inspire other people to do something similar in their own way. You watch any amount of these videos, you know that I always say, Crokinole is the greatest game on earth and I stand behind that. And I'm also going to suggest to you that the good feelings that come from giving 
giving and generosity are the greatest feeling on earth. Make it a great day.